So there is a Grevillea canbera in bloom here on Salt Spring Island. I'm going to stand beside it in a second. We're just out for a motorbike ride here. It's a beautiful day here on Salt Spring Island. And this is growing right across the street from the ocean. But this is a big plant. Because that fence behind it, those must be... What are they? Eight foot? They're eight foot uh, spacings on the fence there, right? You see? Something growing through it there, right? That is a magnificent plant. So I'm going to stand beside it. and I'll get a close-up of the flowers. Really exotic from Australia. The hummingbirds are just going crazy with this thing. And uh, thousands more blooms to open up on it. Beautiful day in paradise here on Salt Spring Island. Not a cloud in the sky. Clouds all around us though. And Salt Spring Island is in a rain shadow, so we benefit from it. Yeah, there's going to be a sailboat race around the island, the annual sailboat race around the island. So I'll stand by it, Wendy. I'll, okay. I'll get up there and you can see how big it is. I'm killing myself. <laughs> Looking on a slug. Here. So overall slope. size, this is how big this Gravelli is. It's huge. And there's even a bigger one up their driveway. Big up. Huh? It is. Here growing on the north end. Uh, Salt Spring Island. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eucalyptus tree up there, you can see it. And there's a massive Gravelli. There's hummingbirds buzzing around this thing like crazy. That thing is probably 16 yeah. feet wide. It's got to be 16. Yeah. It's 16 feet wide. Oh, no. I know. Beautiful. It's so beautiful out. Anyway, that's Grevillea canbera. One to try in your drought tolerant garden.